Hello everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm live and I'm going to be talking to you guys in the chat in a little while and at the end of the video, if y'all have any questions or just have things you want to talk about, we'll do that there. But I wanted to share with you what's been going on here, what kind of sales I've been having over the last week. And I had a couple questions to pose to you, so I thought I would do that as well. But first, if you're new here, welcome. I am a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay, Etsy, and other places to help support my family. And it is one of the things I do to make an income and be able to stay home and do all the things that we do here. Uh, and my goal every week on eBay and Etsy is to make about $200 a week to kind of round it out to about 800 a month, 800 to 1,000 a month as part of how I make my income. And I just wanted to start off by saying my goal this week was met, hallelujahs. And it was, I made, now this is gross, not like burp gross, but gross income at $640. So probably after fees and everything, it's, we would say probably on the lower end, 550, which is still well over my goal. And I had one sale that really knocked it out of the park and it was something that finally sold yay but i'm very um happy to be here with you guys today if you follow me on facebook yeah i asked for memes and gifts because i was having kind of a rough morning and needing a little a little pep a little perk me up but uh looking forward to coming to talk to you all today was definitely high on my uh spirit lifting whatever the word is for that to get me my spirits up anyway hello everybody in the chat hi jennifer and everybody i'm going to see lots of friends coming in thank you so much for being here so before i i'm going to do two things before i start talking about the sales one is a, an ebay rep reached out to me and they wanted to know if i wanted to do a collaboration like on a video at and these kind of things happen so every so often. I'll get people reaching out and, I'll, you know, sometimes it fizzles out and then nothing happens and sometimes it goes forward. But anyway, I thought I'd ask you um, because the rep was saying, you know, if we wanted to do a collaboration about kinds of questions that you guys would want, you know, to have a video about. But they don't have, she said they don't have one person that's like a be all end all of everything. But I could have somebody come and talk about shipping with me. I could have somebody come and talk about listing optimization. And so I, I, wrote, I wrote back to her tentatively saying probably something about listing optimization. She also said, oh, we could just talk about how you got started, Margaret. I'm like, yawn. Uh, but I said, yeah, probably something like listing optimization. I think that's probably something that everybody could use. But if you have better ideas, I would love to hear them. Because that way, if, if and when she gets back to me, we can talk about what would be a good, what do y'all need? I mean, that's the main thing, right? What do you need? So there's that. Hi, Debbie. Debbie's got the wrench in the chat, so be on your best behavior. She's going to get you. Um, okay, so, and then I got friend mail. So I wanted to thank Marlo, and it took me a little while to, to bring my friend mail on because we've been really locked down here, so I haven't been opening packages. They go into the garage. It's a whole procedure. They stay in the garage for a little while, but but Marlo sent me a really sweet friend mail. She know how much I love Harry Potter, so she sent me this mug, Expecto Patron. This looks like one of those that's hand painted. I would be interested to know if this was something you thrifted or if you actually went and painted that. that was, that's really cool. Expecto Patronum on the back, and then a Harry Potter ornament, which is very awesome. I'm a Harry Potter fan, as you may know, and then some little fuzzy kitty slippers so i'm excited about those as well and i just wanted to thank you for that <laughs> yeah i so just was laughing at debbie i'm the wrench um but yeah thank you for that from now really brightened my day and it was really sweet so okay and i think that was all the stuff yes listing optimization would be good awesome and but if you think of anything else like let me know i think that's all i had anyway um, Fern saying, what's the wrench? Uh, the wrench means Debbie's the admin in the chat, so if anybody is... You know how I like to play with the trolls, though, Debbie, so let them slide through. Sometimes you'll grab the trolls before I have a chance to play with the trolls. <laughs> Unless it's really something terrible, then kick them out. But give me a minute to play with them, at least. Right? Bat them around a little bit. Um, <laughs> okay, 
So, yeah, let's talk about sales. So I'm going to jump over. I only, oh, she thrifted it. Marla says, oh, yay, I'm so glad you're in the chat. Thank you so much. Really, it, it really brightened my day. <sighs> Big time. So I loved it. Love it, love it. Okay. Look at me getting off track already. So as I said, my my sales this week were really good. Uh, these are just eBay and Etsy. I didn't have any sales on Mercari or Poshmark or anything else. Um, so that's fine. It all worked out. So let's start with this. Now maybe you can help me with this. I don't know the answer to this. I'm going to feed them, Christine. She says, don't feed the trolls. Come on, man. Were you here, Christine, the time that there were trolls in the chat and... We were having so much fun with them that they were like, okay, we give up. You're too nice. You're too fun. We're going to stop. And they left. <laughs> were you here for that one? That was fun. Anyway, um, tell me if you know, on this bracelet that sold, do you see up by the title where it says, you know, two product ratings? I don't understand this because this isn't like a, I mean, I get it if it was something I did like a sell similar for a, you know, a thing that's got multiples and I don't know. I don't know why that's there. That's interesting. So if you know, let me know. <laughs> oh, Mary's there. He says, <gasps> y'all, and I know somebody's going to comment later. Get to the point. I'm so happy to see y'all. And I'm really just, um, yeah, this is a bright spot in my day getting to, to talk to you guys. I look forward to the Monday lives. <laughs> yes, trolls in the dungeon. That's right. <laughs> okay, for real now, sales. So, this um, Aztec calendar bracelet, and I always get the Aztec and the Mayan stuff mixed up, so I try my best to make sure I put the right thing in there. Um, I, pay, I paid about a dollar for this, and this sold for $55, which was a really nice sale. Then, this sold, this was a unicorn wooden box, and I put that I spent $2 on it. I think I got it at a garage sale. I don't think I picked it up at the bins, but I didn't put it in my uh, inventory note. But this sold for $30. I took an offer on this one. And I'm going to come back in the chat. I see some more and I really want to come talk, but I'm, I'm going to finish this first. Okay, then this sold. This I did get in the bins. And if you're wondering what the bins are, pardon me, the bins are the Goodwill outlet where they put everything in these blue, big, long tub things, and it's by the pound. So anything that you get is weighed. In our bins, it's a buck fifty a pound, unless it's breakable, which this was. And breakable items are twenty for a buck ninety nine. So it costs about ten cents for this. So this little piggy sold for ten dollars, and I spent ten cents on it. And then this little Star Wars set sold, I bought it for about three bucks on clearance and it sold for $36, took an offer on that. And it was just a small set, it wasn't a big one or anything. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. So this sold, this is a, you know, I got this in the bins as well. It's a really cool, distressed, shabby, chic kind of deal. And this sold, so I, pr I probably spent about three bucks because it was a little bit heavy. Um, and it sold for 40 bucks. And the reason I said, oh my gosh, you guys, is because it got there and it was a little bit damaged. So here at this point, the, the wood was separated. So there was a gap there. And so the, I mean, the buyer messaged me, was really sweet about it and was like, hey, you know, look what happened in shipping. And do you have any suggestions and this and that? And I just said, you know, we have a couple options. I can can send it back and I can do a full refund or I can do a partial refund and refund half of it and so she took you know let's refund half and then she, she sent some pictures and so I went over to the post office site and filed a claim because it dam got damaged in shipping so that's what happened with this one it happens it's life you just deal with it right okay oops I hit the wrong button so that's what happened there and then these are Loot Crate underwear. They're Pac-Man Loot Crate underwear. And they sold for $15. Then, I see y'all in the chat. I'll be there. I'm jealous y'all are talking and I don't get to talk to you right now. Then this sold. I bought this. This is actually something I spent a little bit. I spent up on this. Pardon me. I'll take a drink. This was a Christmas present from my dad. 
um, anyway, so I spent six dollars on this necklace, which you know for me is I, that's way more than I normally spend. But I had a feeling with it having this like multi-strand kind of chunky necklace, this cross with a cowgirl on it. It had a lot going on. I spent six bucks on this. Either at a garage sale or an estate sale, and I took an offer of forty dollars for it. So it was a really good, really good flip. Then over on Etsy, this is the one I was talking about. It's sold finally, and I still have. If you've been around for a while, you know that big giant Star Wars lot and GI Joe stuff that I got at garage sale before I moved to Austin, and I got it for next to nothing. I have the the ride along where I got it and the the whole video from it as well, both on my channel from like two years ago. But I still haven't finished listing everything, if you can believe it. I just stall on the big stuff and then because it's big and it's bulky and it's going to take a lot to ship it and but really I mean I maybe spent a dollar the lady gave me all of this stuff and all this homeschool stuff and all this Star Wars and G.I. Joe for 25 bucks for 25 bucks and so it was next to nothing but this sold for 250 dollars yes <laughs> thank goodness and I want to point out because this is such an intricate set and there were moving parts and there were lots of things, this is one that I did a video for. And on Etsy, you can't embed a video like you can for eBay. So here's my eBay listing. I wanted to show it to you. So on my eBay listing, I have the video in there. And I linked down below in the description box if you're interested in doing this. I always get the comment like, no, no, you can't have active content in eBay anymore, which is true. But the way that you can do it is where you click the video and it opens in a new tab. So this way, you know, when they click the video and it opens up, I have it over here, you know, it, it'll, I made a video where you could see all the moving parts and all the different things. Just because you only get 12 pictures and it just wasn't going to do it justice. So this sold and the person also bought Lando, so Lando went with them with the Ewok Village as well. So Lando sold for $10 and the Ewok Village sold for $250. Thank you. I was so glad for that sale. And that is shipping out today. And then this sold, this is, I got this, oh, I, I had to decipher my own code because I put down here in my inventory note SB. I was like, oh dear, what does SB mean? But that means savers bags. You know, the, the wall of bags at savers. And there's just like multiple things in a bag. So this was in a savers bag. So I probably spent about 50 cents. It's melting wax and then one of those press seals. And then uh, I wanted to say, well, this let me tell you what it sold for first. This sold for 20 bucks. I've been getting a lot of messages on eBay and Etsy for people wanting stuff they've seen in my haul videos. And I leave like really cryptic, I email back, but I just say, I can't discuss off-site sales with you. I hope you understand. Look <laughs> here, wink. I can't wink in the, in the email. But um, yeah, email me. On my email, it's down in the description box too, texasgaltreasures gmail.com, or even on Facebook, like message me on Facebook. Because I can't message back and say, yeah, I'll sell you stuff off site, because then it's not okay with their terms of service. So this one, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Tiger's Eye Ring, I bought for a dollar, and this was a pretty large one, and this sold for 36 bucks. Let's see. I'm looking at I'm trying to okay, I'll come back to the chat. Oh my gosh, I love these earrings. Why is it so big? Hang on, let me see if I can zoom it out so you can I'm trying to get it where you can see. So these earrings I got either at a garage sale or an estate sale. I spent 25 cents on them. And this the brand is I'm gonna say it wrong. Baraby. But it's got this cowboy and Indian uh, or Native American. I don't want to be rude or Mom PC. Anyway, they sold for $53. Aren't they fun though? I just love them. There's that. And then this wallet sold. Vera Pele. I'm going to get comments about saying that wrong too. 
wallet. And um, where did my price thing go? Here it is. Uh, I bought this for a dollar and it sold for $45. Okay, so those were my sales. $640 gross. I spent about $20 for all of those items. So it was a really great return on investment, probably at least $550 in profit after everything, fees and all the stuff. All right, now I can come over to the chat. I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you. But I can't remember. But if you have any questions as I'm going through the chat, drop your questions in and we can talk about it. And I'm looking. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I know we're all going through a really surreal time for sure. Pardon me. Thrifty Paper Garden Julie says, my husband's company said he will work from home until a vaccine is released. There goes my productivity. I hear you. <laughs> um, oh, oh, thank you for sharing where you guys are coming from. Ferns from Massachusetts. Anybody else from Mass? And Potterheads Unite. Yes, absolutely. Bragg says, as you are my go-to person for all things jewelry, maybe talk to eBay about aspects of sourcing, listing, shipping, etc. Yeah, I can ask her. She did say that they didn't have one person to cover all the things, but... I, yeah, maybe, I mean, if one goes well, maybe they'll, maybe they'll do more than one. So we'll see. I emailed her back. I haven't heard back yet. So sometimes these things just fizzle out and I never hear anything else. And then sometimes they don't. So we'll see. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I feel weird not talking, so. Yeah, I'm. Hi, Dizzy Angie. Thank you for for coming. And hi, Heather. She says, "Love to hear your voice." Thank you for being here. I'm so glad. Heather says, "I'm amazed at what people buy during a pandemic." I'm amazed what I buy during a pandemic. What did I buy? <laughs> Just randoms. And then I I find myself buying little things for the kids to keep them motivated. So I'm not a ton. We did to buy some puzzles. And that's been a new thing for us, doing puzzles at night, before bed, listening to an audiobook, doing a puzzle. So that's been kind of fun. Um, and we're doing paper mache today later, too. So that'll be nice. Trying to get some activities in. And if you don't, if you don't follow my homeschool channel, I've got a video. There's a video we just put up. The kids did um, a Katamari, like, perler bead stop animation. It turned out really cute. And then we've been studying, we did the digestive system, now we're doing the circulatory system, but we did a really gross activity for the digestive system, and I'm in the process of edit, editing it, but by the end of it, the kids wouldn't even touch it. It was amazing. It was so fun. Uh, do you like grossing your kids out? <laughs> anyway. Mm. Michelle says, I have to drive two plus hours to get to a bin site. Yeah, when I was in Houston, there wasn't a bin. After I left, they put one in, but... Still, Houston is so big, it was like on the other side. It was huge. Um, aw. Sarah says, my mom had that pig still hanging in her blue cabinet today. It was her birthday. Oh. Karen says, without estate sales to go to, I've been doing online auctions. I've gotten some incredible lots of jewelry. Me too. I had to stop myself from buying anymore because it's the late night bidding and you just kind of lose track of it, you know? Yeah. Deborah says she misses yard sales and church rummage sales. It's honestly me too. I miss that almost more than the bins. I miss the driving around. I miss the stopping at different estate sales and garage sales. Almost more than the bins. Because at the, at the bins, I would get my anxiety like level would start rising and I could only take it for so long. I know there are people that go and they like spend all day there. I just can't, you know, I'll go for a little while and then I'll just, I feel like I have to go. Okay. This is good. We gotta go. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh yes. Hang on. I just saw a question about shipments and then my chat jumped. Ah, oh, where did I go? Okay. I'm coming back, coming back. Oh, Marcia says, have your shipments been getting delayed? Yes. And I figured it's just 
because of what's going on. I had a message today from someone who bought um, a Lego set and it was going to Japan. I think I shared it last week. Well, first of all, it's only been a week. <laughs> it's going to Japan, but it's it's just sort of stalled. So, yeah. And then another one on Mercari, the tracking never showed that the buyer got the item and it was like from April 3rd. So I finally messaged the, the buyer yesterday and said, hey, you know, did you get this? And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, I just forgot to upload. <laughs> Luckily, they were honest about it, but it's been kind of a few things here and there, more than normal. Normally, I don't have any kind of issues. So let's see. Julie says, I'm jumping into my profit piles to help me with drifting withdrawals. I found a long forgotten treasures. I'm sure I will, too, and I finally do it. It's a lot. It feels like, I don't know, I haven't listed anything new on eBay and Etsy in a while just because of everything else going on, trying to keep us sane. So, and Deborah asks, what online auction sites are best? I get this question, too, about the jewelry because uh, Goodwill Blue Box is shut down right now, and then ThreadUp was so hard to get. Um, so, on ShopGoodwill.com, they have auctions. That's where I got the last one I've been unboxing. But they are really expensive. You, I mean, it's just... I, I rationalize it by thinking about price per item. If I average everything out, then I'm doing okay price per item wise. You know, so we'll see. I'm and, and not buying any more for a little while because I have quite a bit. And then I bought lots from a couple. I bought one from an eBay seller. I bought one from a viewer that was offering some stuff. So I definitely have plenty. I was getting worried I wouldn't have stuff to unbox for you, but now I'm worried I'm going to have to really start selling mixed lots more to not be a hoarder. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, okay. Looking in the chat real fast. Thank you so much. Huh? Okay. Oh. Okay, Deborah says, have sales increased during this time? I think they have. I don't normally, because in spring, normally after Q4, which is, you know, October, November, December, things kind of slow down. You might have a little burst in January because people have money and gift cards and stuff. But then it really kind of tanks out until... I mean, it just kind of levels off and it's slower, spring, early summer. Then towards mid and summer, it starts ramping back up again for back to school and all of that. But it's been really good. And I know, and I, and I know some of you guys have been buying from me and I'm grateful for that. And I thank you. So I hope that your sales are also going as well. Definitely. So... Hi there. I'm looking at. Oh, Jace Sterner says, when I start driving towards Goodwill, I get excited, and then I remember, oh, it's it's closed. Oh, my child, I jumped again. Okay. Oh, I don't know that. If Marilyn's asking about a golden uh, a tag, if you drop the picture in the Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. Everybody will say, go look in the, in the files, or they'll tell you what it is. But we have a file, a file in there with, with tags, so I'd have to see it. And then I'd probably say, go look at the files. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're really helpful in the group, so definitely. Okay. Julie says, I worked in a hospital. My family got used to all the, oh, all the gory stories. Oh, no. So, Finds of Yesterday says, what do you film with, camera or your phone? What editing program? So right now I'm using my laptop. I have a MacBook Pro. And other times I use my phone, which my kids have right now, um, which is just an iPhone. And then I just got a GoPro, but I'm still learning to play with it and all that stuff. And then I edit with iMovie, which came on my MacBook Pro. So nothing really fancy. I do have, well, you know what? I take that back. When I do my my camera down videos, I have this G7X, which is a really, a really nice camera. I like it a lot. So that's what I use for the 
camera down one. Lydia says, how do you disinfect the jewelry when you get it home? I stopped buying jewelry. I just don't touch it. When I get lots, they go straight into the garage and I leave them in the garage for about a week and then I disinfect the boxes. And then it's usually at least two weeks before I open something. And I don't think it, if the virus pours on anything, it would be, I think two weeks is a good amount of time. And then I always wash my hands because, you know, touching grimy, grubby jewelry turns your hands and disgusting, black, and gross. So I'm not touching my face with that, and I just go wash my hands right after. I don't know. If you think I, I could do it a better way. I mean, another option is just my when my brother came, he made me a bottle of, like, an alcohol solution, water with so much rubbing alcohol. And he did that for me to clean my electronics and things like that. But I've been using, you know, that would be a good spray. You know, we use, the kids and I have been using it for, for stuff. And I tell them, it's just like liquid hand sanitizer. Because, basically. Um, Silver Hair Stacker, don't you think now is the time to save cash for a time when the C ends and all the places have huge stock to sell us, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. Which is another reason I think maybe I should hold off on buying lots of stuff and... You know, because then when they do open, I have so much stuff to sell, though, truly. My only worry is not having stuff to do videos for. I'll have to think of something else to do videos for if I run out. Maybe I'll just pull a box from, like, last year that I still have that nobody, like, maybe you won't realize. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Um, We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hmm. Cordelia says, does anyone bother... Filling in item specifics in their listing, does it make a difference? I do. I don't do all of it because sometimes it's ridiculous, but there are certain things I'll fill in. And then when I do a sell similar, some of it already fills in, so I just go through and check. Yeah. Let's see. I think it's just another way to help optimize the search. So, yeah, I try as much as I can. However, I do have moments when I'm just in a rush and I don't. Just, you know, you get in the groove of like, I want to, I really want to list 10 things today. So, yeah. Celine Radiate says, eBay just emailed me about my item being in a cart. Should I lower my price? Maybe here. Hmm. You could, or you could raise it. Because the buyer will get a notification that the price has changed. So, and, or you could do, if it's in someone's cart, can you, or is it just that they're watching it? Can you do a send the buyer a, an offer. I don't know. Hang on, I hear. No, I'm not. Y'all have my phone. I'm, I'm live. I'm on the phone with my friends. Live. Love you. Um, anyway, so yeah, I don't normally, when eBay e emails me stuff like that, I don't normally, but I do send offers on the, on items. Uh, Oh, uh, thanks, Susie Angie. She says, I I think I price some of my items too low. And I had a friend who might or might not be in the chat, I promise not to mention his or her name, tell me you I, that I've been selling things for too low. So <laughs> I, won't, I won't call you out in the chat. So, okay, oh, Marcia says, how do you handle non-payments on eBay? Do you give them a set amount of time, send more, more than one reminder? I send the reminders when they you know, when I'm able on um, eBay. And then just whenever, if they don't pay, I open an unpaid item case. And they usually either pay at that point or they cancel. So I don't, I don't let it, it doesn't happen very often, but I don't usually, like I'm not watching it, you know, or anything, because then it was, it would just make me stressed out. Christina says, when, when you were a public school educator, what grade did I teach? I taught... I started in fourth grade, and then I worked my way down to kindergarten. So when I stopped teaching, I taught for 14 years, and when I stopped teaching, I had taught kindergarten for two years. So I was six years in third and fourth grade, second grade, I'm doing the math. First grade, I think I did for four years, second grade, two, I feel like my math's not adding up, six and four, and four and two, <laughs> I don't know. So it, I feel like it was long enough, okay? <laughs> But it was four, 14 years. 
I tend to buy individual pieces. Yeah. Okay. Ah, Julie says my e eBay says my sales are up 113% from one year ago. Nice. Ah. Uh, oh, my chat keeps jumping. If I miss, if I end up missing your your comment or question, let me know because the chat keeps popping around. Uh, Julie, uh, Jennifer asks, any tips on using the Pristine Gem Tester? I have a couple videos. What, are you having a problem with it? Let me know. Because I love mine. And I have a video. Now, if it's not calibrated, technically they want you to send it in. I did make a video where I calibrated mine and it was it's really finicky. And, and I, I, the reason I went ahead and did it, and again, I'm not recommending anybody do this, because Presidium, Gen Tester, or whatever the company is, they want you to mail it in. But I thought, if I'm going to have to mail it in anyway to get them to calibrate it, I might as well just try. So I did, and I, I fiddled around with it until, until I got it calibrated. So, yeah. Dawn says, have you used an ultrasonic jewelry cleaning machine? No, I think because there are certain things that can't go in it, and because it'll damage or you know might loosen stones and things and while some people are probably okay with that not okay with that happening but will remember what to put in and what not to put in I know me it's like laundry it just goes in and then I'm like oh my gosh I put that in there with that other stuff I know myself so yeah uh, what's Saturn girl said what's my process in cleaning custom jewelry just alcohol not um, not even that. Sometimes I just use a damp cloth, you know, and wipe it down and dry it. If it needs any more, that's usually all it pre I mean, I, I never really have any that's disgusting. I suppose if I had something that was really gross, you know, I could get a Q-tip and alcohol and, like, clean. But most of the time I don't have anything that that's that bad. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh wow, Marilyn says, I, I'm sending to this, I got a thread up box, I was shocked. Really, when were they live? <laughs> I asked like, y'all let me know when they go live. The last time they went live and y'all messaged me, I was at an essential appointment and I, I, of course, so yeah. Debbie says she leaves my stuff in the garage for two weeks before touching then cleaning as needed, yeah. And I still have, the last time I went to Savers, not savers. Garage sale, estate sale, and the bins. I still have the tubs in the garage. I haven't brought them in yet. Uh, Christina says, I've noticed YouTube resellers doing live group chats. I thought you thought about you doing that and who you would chat with. I did a chat over on Chris's channel, like when we had a merch talk reunion. I used to do we used to do merch talk once a week a while back. The, the reason I don't do a whole lot of live group chats is because I'm not very good with deadlines <laughs> and it's hard for me to say I have to be at a certain place at a certain time I mean I can do it but I don't like feeling the pressure that somebody else is, was waiting on me or like I don't want to let somebody else down so I don't know <laughs> that's why I hope that makes sense like I, I, th I feel so much for the the public school parents right now that are trying to it's not homeschooling what they're doing but schooling their kids at home and like my sister, they have to be at a certain, you know, like a Zoom lesson at a certain time. You got to have everything set up and you got to make sure all these assignments are done and you got to turn them in on time and you got to make sure that it's too much pressure. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I've gotten lazy in my, in my self-employedness or something. I just, I don't know. I mean, even with Merch Talk, it, it, at the end, towards the end, it was like, okay, I gotta make sure I'm there on time. I gotta make sure I'm put on some makeup or something so I the guys can just jump on, right? <laughs> they can just turn on the camera and go. You can't do that. Anyway. So yeah. And there's not a whole lot of other YouTubers I talk to a whole lot. Any I mean there's a few, but I mean no there's no animosity that I know of anyway. But Anne, I talk I don't talk talk to her. I don't know. Everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. So. Ah, my chat jumped again. Oh, 
I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. Sorry, y'all. Um, how do okay, Pam? Penny asks, how do I keep up with sales, taxes, and shipping costs? Well, I use GoDaddy Bookkeeping, <clears throat> and so it syncs with my PayPal and my bank account and everything. And so I think it might even sync with eBay. I'm not sure. But it all goes in there, and it just categorizes everything. So I don't have to do anything. And then when tax time comes, I just print off a sheet and send it to my tax lady. So, and then she says, do this, do that. I need this, I need that. And I say, okay, here. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So, Heather says, just do my silly characters. I, I don't know what that's in reference to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Darlene says, I don't buy jewelry bags anymore. The ladies at my Salvation Army saves all the good things for their friends. Oh, no. Saturn girl, I'm so glad to hear that. She says, your videos are a high point on my day. Stuck at home, missing my kids and grandkids. Oh, yeah. That would be so hard. My mom was here for a little while. She just went back home, too. Yeah. Um, okay, I answer that one. Do I sell in Hawaii and Alaska? Yeah, I sell everywhere. I haven't had a ton of sales go. I mean, Alaska lately, but not Hawaii, not in a while. Let's see. Okay, jumped again. Hi, Darla. Thanks for being here. Hi, Fine Age Finds. Thanks so much for being here. Ah, Heather says, Hi, Darla. Why are you green with a star? So if you see people with a little star next to their name, it means that they have clicked the join button. And by the way, join button people, it's towards the end of the month and I've got work to do for y'all. Because depending on the level of... It's kind of like a Patreon thing where you... When you click the join button, you can subscribe to the channel for... A certain amount per month you get to choose and for the different level then I create another piece of video tutorial type of deal uh, depending on what the level is so it's just like an extra thing and I, <laughs> I gotta get on that I haven't done my my job for y'all this month so I need to check in and, and see where y'all are at and what y'all want and what y'all need so it's just another way to get a little extra help too because then I usually ask like what what do y'all want because I do a tip video like a quick tip video and I do a tutorial and then I do a, either a live we didn't do it live this last time but or a, a specific video on a specific topic that is what you would need help with so and then I'll ask a little poll like what do y'all want what do you need what do you and then that's kind of so I can focus in on like specifically something that you need help with that's what that's about. And I had somebody ask me where to find the join button. Usually it's right below the video, or if you go to the main page, the main Texas Gal Treasures page, it's near the subscribe button. And there's a little thing that pops up and talks about it. Stuff. Well, it's been stuff. Um, Jacqueline says, where do you sell your lots? I sell them just to viewers. So if you're ever interested, email me, texasgaltreasures, gmail.com, and then I will set you up with a lot yeah let's see boop, 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 boop. Oh, okay Bethany says when you look on thread if it doesn't pull up anything for a lot so what do you search for oops I clicked the wrong button so what I do <laughs> you get to see my up here what I do is I go to rescues so when you go to thread up there's a, no, it's not showing on here now. Maybe I need to scooch it out. Hang on. Right here, where it's, uh, no, here, rescues over to the side. So select rescues, and then when you scroll down, it's this DIY jewelry right there. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. Last week. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Karen, I think a lot of the thrift stores, too, have stopped taking donations because they're probably overly, you know, I think they're getting a lot of stuff right now. Um, Christine says, totally, that's why we are trying to be more equitable and have more asynchronous learning approach to distance learning. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it's so tough with the classwork. And even I mean even as a homeschool mom this is not the way we normally school. We're usually out in the world schooling. We would probably have a two and a half days, maybe three days at home of like paper pencil type learning. And then sometimes we're at enrichment school. Sometimes we're at class. Sometimes we're at therapy. Sometimes we're, you know, we do a wilderness school thing. I mean, we're out and we take a lot of, you know, field trips and go doing a lot of work world schooling if you will and so this has been different for us and we're trying to even find our stride and so now we're I'm doing like every other day so one day is all of our paper pencil math they do reading every single day but you know every other day it's you know writing the three R's type of deal and then alternate days it's you know hands-on science hands-on history hands-on art you know just to yeah, otherwise it's drudgery. Drudgery! Yeah, we're, and, and this will work for a little while and then we'll have to mix it up because it, I don't know, we just can't stay in the same, yeah, we'll just have to mix it up, try it, you know, start again, reset, rework, constantly. Hmm. Marilyn says, is it difficult to ship internationally? No. It's the same. I mean, other than it costs more for the buyer to ship it. Um, but whenever you get the label, whenever it prints out, usually you have to put the date and you have to sign it. And that's about it. So that's it. I'm looking at the chat one more time. Heather says, Marilyn, we use global shipping for expensive items. Yeah, and I think global shipping, especially for newer sellers, is a good way to go as far as confidence building because I I was not doing global shipping when I first started and then I had a bad experience and then I went to global shipping now it's a lot more expensive for the buyer for doing global shipping on eBay that's if you guys don't know what that is if you're new what it means is you ship it to a an eBay kind of packaging center and then eBay takes it over and takes care of the rest of the shipping from there and um, yeah, so it's a little, it's, I was say a little, it's quite more expensive for the buyer, but uh, it covers you. So then if anything happens, once it reaches the eBay shipping distribution center, after that, it's all on eBay if there's a mess up or something bad happens and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brenda says, how am I doing? Thank you, Brenda, for asking. I'm doing okay. I. Today was kind of rough. I had a I had a random headache today, like migraine in my eyeballs. So I had to lay with like a cold pack on my eyes for a while and uh, yeah. Um, Kathy, but I'm doing better now. So thank you for asking. We've been working on our garden a lot and I don't know, cooking a lot. Kathy asks, what do you do with really personalized stuff? I was watching it on Jar and she's gotten a great picture disc of a child. Or old pics and there are people that collect like old pictures and lockets and things. There was actually a lot on Shop Goodwill that I was bidding on that was all like cool old lockets and framed pictures of you know black and white pictures. And I I was willing to bid up to two hundred bucks, but this thing went over well over four hundred dollars for the lot. So there are people that definitely collect that type of thing. Yeah. Um, Dizzy Angie says, curious, has your homeschool channel grown since this quarantine started? A little bit, not a lot. I've had a few, and so I'm trying to record more of the activities that we're doing to put over there, but it's, it's hard because I, this is my, this is my baby. This is my love. This is my friends here. Um, so it's, this is my priority. So I've got stuff to put over there. It's just a matter of doing it. And, you know, it's not what you focus on, right? It's not what I'm focusing on. But I definitely, I know a lot of moms and dads are, are looking for things to do with the kids. So that one is more the things the kids create, the activities the kids do. And then I've been putting a little more of the cooking stuff over there instead of over here as well. Yeah. 
Sad and Girl have thought about resellers trading stuff with each other, things that haven't sold just to shake things up a little bit. That could be good or bad, yeah. Fine H finds the shop goodwill has been so crazy competitive. It does make sense, yeah. People are are looking for things. Hang on, I gotta pull my leg up here. No, never mind. Change my mind. Um, looking for things to sell and yeah. Okay. All right. I think that's all the questions, and I think that's all the stuff I had too. Um. Yeah, so I'm so glad that you guys could make it. I never did check to see how many friends we have watching. How many of you have come to say hello? Oh, I can't find it. Here it is. Ha ha! Go over there and hit the thumbs up. We've got 166 friends watching. And I'm so glad. This always makes me feel better to come talk to you guys. And I look forward to it every Monday. And I'm trying to make it at 3 on Mondays. I'm trying to commit to that time because it's really hard Again, I almost moved it, but it's really hard for me, but I know it helps when you guys know when I'm going to be live. So trying to make it 3 o'clock on Monday. So, yeah. I'm looking. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming, and I hope that you're staying safe and well and taking care of yourself and checking on the people you care about and love and everything. I will talk to you soon. Have a really great afternoon. Bye, everybody. Maybe. There we go.